Let's go, girls. Dollar her lashes. So, I just went to Starbucks really quickly and I wanted to show what I got. So, I still get the same thing I got when I was losing weight. And I actually unprivated my weight loss video from last year. It was just like I deleted because I was embarrassed. And also, I gained, gained all the weight back, so it was really embarrassing. But I got a triple shot of espresso over ice in a light venti cup. And I still mix it with Premier Protein, but now I kind of rotate between vanilla, caramel, and cinnamon bun. I used to only do caramel, but it's so good and it gets you so like ready in the morning. And I'm so happy that I um, started using the app at Starbucks because I literally have so many points and I used to just not use it because I thought it was too hard and that you had to like reload a credit card, like you do like a gift card. Because you can actually just put your credit card on it, so it's so nice. Like, literally this weekend, or this week, I went to Starbucks three times, so I get, like, 100 points. I don't know if I want to save them for, a like, a to get, like, a cup, or just buy a bunch of drinks and stuff, but I'm, like, a Starbucks addict, kind of. But this is so cheap, because I only get the espresso. If anything, the Premier Protein's more expensive. This is me editing this video, but I just wanted to stop the video right here because I had this drink from Starbucks yesterday, today Saturday, and it was so good. I saw on a TikTok, it was on Trisha Paytas' TikTok, but I just wanted to stop and put it on the screen so you can try it if you like Starbucks. It was so good, and it was very, it was giving me healthy vibes and fall vibes. Okay, so here are my candle, like, this is all the stuff that I need today to burn a new candle. So this is what we have, this is what we got. So I like to make my candles in the kitchen with just, um, this angle is so funny. But I like to make it with just this light on, but I'll put this on until I start cooking because it's just the vibe, like I just need it to be a certain way. So first I'm doing is taking this big pot and I don't really use this to cook with, so I, so now I'm just going to use it for candles and like my hair if I like need to burn the ends because I don't use it to cook with. I don't cook that much. So I filled this up with water. So you fill this with about that much water. So I have all of my leftover candles that I'm going to melt. So this one I made last week, but if you guys can see, it came out and the wick came out because... I don't know if it was just because the candle was cheap, like the, because I had also gotten this make your own candle from the dollar store. And so water like collected at the bottom and it made the, the um, wick move. So there was no way for me to melt it. This is my candle that I um, made last time. I'll insert the video of what it looks like as it was cooling. It was so cool. I love how it came out but this was pre-wicked and for some reason the wick moved over to the left side so it started burning this and it just became harder to burn so I'm gonna melt this down the jar so I have these sitting in the water so they're just boiling and once it gets really fierce I'll turn it down but yeah so they're starting to melt you see this one has already started to melt so first what I'm gonna do is put this down which I was telling you about earlier the mason jar and you see the wicks already in there so what I'm going to do is use this thing. I really messed it up. I got wax all over it last time. But this is what centers the wick. So I put this in the middle because you want it to be in the middle. So what happened last time, like I said, when the wick moved to the left and you couldn't, um, and it burned out onto the side of the jar, you don't want that to happen. So you want to you want to put this in the middle so it stays while you're pouring the wax. And then I have these two to help me when I take each of the candles out. It helps me... Um, hold them so I can pour it. I also have just just in case I need it. Okay I have my mittens now. I use these. I need to get new ones for the kitchen because they get everything on them but so now they're really starting to work and this is when I would like 
put the music on, put some sweatpants on, and just settle down and let them work. You can see it coming out. Isn't that so cool? I just love this. And the way that my apartment smells right now, because I have all my candles burning. So I have a bunch of candles on right now. I have my incense burning. I got these two incense burners. I'll show them in my um, apartment tour, but... I always like to have it burning, but I was running out of lighter fluid, so I haven't had it burning for a while. But I'm going to switch to some more comfortable clothes, and we're going to get this on the roll. I'm so excited. Okay, so I think I might be ready to take my first one out. I'm going to go for a white to solidify the bottom. So it's really about deciding like what color concept you want and how you want your candle to turn out. And I think I want just like a mirage of color. So... I might try to layer it a little bit. So I'm gonna go for this, these two white ones, let them sit for a little bit and then decide after. So what I like to do is to have my mitts on. This isn't a good view. So what I like to do is have my mitts on and then have something like this to help hold it because the jar will be pretty hot at the bottom. Um, but yeah. So you want to get the excess water off and then I'm just going to pour it on. Of course, I'd love to eventually be able to buy like Bath and Body Works candles some days, and I really, really want the Anthropology $150 candle. If you guys have ever seen that, it's the biggest candle ever. It's like your whole table. Like I have this side table, and it's probably the same size as that. I want to get that one day, but it's just really fun for me. So it's like a hobby. So these are how the candles are looking right now, and so this one. Just gonna take a little bit more time and this is how this is looking i think it's gonna be a really dark candle but i'm okay with that it's just this is just fun for me so let's see i'll put this on the candle so you can see how it changes over time because um it is nice to see like i can put in a video of the candle that i was showing you the orange sunrise one that burned to the side and show you how it looked when it was like first porn versus when it had settled which was so cool. And then I did this other one, which I don't know if I have a good picture of it, but I did a pink and green candle. And um, it was so cool to see how that set as well. So I said earlier that I thought it was gonna be like brown or purple, but right now it looks like this. It's like this flesh color, but there's this weird hole in the middle, but, and there's like all these ridges, but I don't care, it still looks pretty cool. Um, but I'm so shocked because you never know how the color is going to come out. But that's what we're dealing with right now. So I'm just going to let it sit. I just received my Sage and Palo Santo um, sticks. So here they are. <laughs> they just came in the mail. And it also came with this rose quartz that was in this little bag. And then I also got this smudge stick. And then this little, what did they call it? The abalone shell to catch the ashes. So I'm gonna try to see if my apartment today. And so it says, use caution. We open a window a little bit as needed to ensure it doesn't not build up.
I decided it's dark in here that I'm gonna finish the candle because if you see it this is one that I made yesterday it's like there's a hole in the middle and then I was just like I moved it and I was like whoa something's moving so there's water in it so I'm gonna try to drain out the water and then add these leftover candles because I just finished this one that I had made last time the pink and green candle I can enter a picture of it or a video that I have of it and it's really cute but I have this little purple that I'm going to add on top. I guess I put too much water in yesterday. And then this pink one got water in it too. So I'm trying to take all the water out. It keeps on happening. So this one I'll add. Hopefully it doesn't flip. And then definitely this one, which was another candle that I burnt. And then I still had some left over of the one that burnt to the side that I made. But yeah, we're gonna finish this candle off. I'm so excited. But right now, it looks so much like my last one. It's like a, I kind of um, describe it as like a sand dune, almost because it has like this pink, brownish. But I just think it's so pretty. And you think that it'd be ugly, like mixing a bunch of candles together that are like completely different colors. But I just think it turns out so cool and fun. And I get so much more excited to burn a candle that I like crafted you know so and I was like so relieved to find out that candles are like a connection to your spiritual side and like I watched this video today saying that for the Lionsgate opening it's because of that Leo energy it's important to get like gold candles and wear orange or wear gold like I just love how everything's connected, especially with spirituality and numerology, because I feel like I've always been a believer in numerology, so to see, like, a reason and, like, how everything connects, it's just so interesting to me, so. <sighs> and Tiffany had a master plan to get the cookout to the end. I wanted to update you on my candle. Oh my god, it's so cold. I took it out of the freezer this morning. I took it out of the freezer this morning, and it's, like... What the? Exhausted.